潘建梅委员你好，我是中国国际电视台 CGTN 的记者。那么，二零一六年的八月呢，墨子号量子科学实验卫星发射升空。呃，那么已经现在也就将近三年的时间了。那么我们想请问一下，这段时间我们有哪些新的发现？未来又有哪些新的计划？那么另外呢，我们听到一些啊、呃，对于您量子通信研究的一些质疑啊，啊、呃，那么大众呢对于量子通信的认知还相对模糊，呃，那么请您解释一下量子通信对大众的意义和它的价值。谢谢。I'm with CGT CGTN. My question goes to Mr. Pan Jianwei. China's quantum science satellite Mozi was launched into the space in August 2016. Has this satellite helped make any discovery in the past nearly three years? What is your plan for the program going forward? And recently, we have heard some skeptical views about your research in quantum sciences. It seems that the public does not have enough knowledge. Or understanding about quantum communication. So, Professor Pan, what would quantum communication mean for the ordinary people? 好，非常感谢呃你这个提问。呃，墨子号呢 ？Thank you for your question. 科学实验卫星啊，它主要有两方面的目的。As a scientific satellite, Mozi has two roles. Number one, it has the eight application, so actually that can have the eight communication between the satellite and the ground. So that's the、uh, realized the quantum teleportation. So also at the a space scale, we also can test of the a non-locality. So actually, the results we plan for two years, we already achieve all of them just within two or three months. So in the past two or three years, we had more times to improve the functions of the quantum scientific satellite boards because it's experimental satellite. So we not really want to do it for a commercial purpose. So talk about the a key, the a quantum key distribution. We increased the forty times. So we talk about the, within one second that can actually send 4D quantum key. So this actually can help the A requirement for certain departments in terms of the A communication security. So as we know. The A from the A scientific area, the A knowledge is actually not really linked. So we have several models talk about how we can better coordinate different scientific aspects and could create the synergy. So we have the event formalism. This is a model, but right now this model from our experiment and also the data we collect. That tells about the a whole model actually is not correct. That's a big improvement and outcome we got in the past two to three years. Another goal for us actually want to commercialize it. But actually, that's not really need a sunlight, so we only can conduct the experiment during nights. So what our next job is, we would like to make the quantum satellite can work 24 hours. So, which means that the a it can produce the a quantum key around the clock to stabilize the communication channel and talk about the public. Actually, they not fully understand about the quantum science. Actually, this is quite different from our day-to-day -day life for. The ordinary people. I believe, especially the people here presented here today, we talk about higher education, but not really a lot of people actually understand the quantum science. So, for the public, when they think about the quantum science, they have a two. Questions or quite confusing. Talk about why quantum mechanics sounds really far from them, and also during the whole commercialization drive, they quite worry about whether this the quantum science is mature enough. 
So think about our smartphones, think about the computers. Actually, that's an initial result of quantum science. Actually, that's been approved for the past more than 100 years. By the way, just didn't study more knowledge regarding the quantum science. That's quite a stop showstopper. So talk about from the R&D to the commercialization stage. There are actually three phases. Talk about this is like the a cameras. They think about whether that absorbed my spirit into the camera because people not really know what it was. Same for the quantum science. So people think this is just for the a a commercial purpose or for the advertisement. This is not real science. And people worried because without wise or widely application, people think like because your science is not mature enough. So we not really confident in ourselves because in the past we just either keeping the pace or just catching up with other countries. Right now, we're leading the pack, so people are not really confident. And people think, like, actually, we have the a lot of things, like a mobile phones. So once you have the first mobile phone, people think it's surprise them, think this is a really a new cool stuff. But when more and more copycats come into the market, people are not really surprised and they get quite familiar with it. Think about the quantum science. So we have a long way to go in terms of educating the public. And our members of CPPCC also actually lack of knowledge in this regard. So the CPPCC Standing Committee gave me an opportunity to educate our public, the a CPPCC members. It turns out that actually the result is quite encouraging because that the ACPPC member even asked me a really, really challenging question to me. So talk about the a meaning to the public. It's not only important to the country and also talk about our individuals. Think of your bank transfer because your key is so important. It should be well protected. And we talk about the a automatic driving. This is would need a protect, not be hacked by others. So actually, think about the security. This will be much improved by use, using quantum science. So with our joint efforts from related departments and institutions, we would like to lower the cost and increase the application of quantum science and deliver the a tangible benefit to our public.